Okay, so um, now I'm going to show you how to collect statistics within polygons or zones from a multi-band raster. So you may be familiar with uh, the zonal stats tool. So if we go to zonal, we have uh, zonal statistics, zonal histogram that allow you to summarize raster data relative to vector data. Now, one, now these only really work for single band rasters. So if we open this up, for example, and we give it an image, it's going to ask for one of the bands. So you can't do them all at once. So unfortunately, that tool doesn't work for multi-band rasters unless you just want to do each band separately. Okay, but there are um, plugins that allow for this. So what we're going to do is look at this specific plugin. So I'm going to drag this over here for a minute. So this is a GitHub page, and this is an experimental plugin. So it's uh, fairly new. You can see it was last updated there, January 31st, 2019. Um, so we're going to try to use this plugin, and this is a good demonstration, I think, because it doesn't show you how to do this specific, use a specific tool, but how to install these um, experimental plugins. Okay, so pull this over there. So let me go to our plugins manager. So manage and install plugins, and now I want to go to settings. And note that the only like repository I've listed there is the official QGIS one. Um, so this to actually use this, I'm going to have to add one. So I'm going to click Add here, and what we first need to do is give it a name. So I'm just going to use the suggested name here. And then we need to grab the, the, the GitHub URL. So I'm going to grab that and dump that in. And it doesn't require like an auth any authentication or anything, so we'll hit OK and now we have that listed and then we want to do reload all repositories so that shows up and then we'll go to all so now I want to look for this tool that we're going to use so this specific tool was called zonal statistics from multi-band multi -band rasters so click on that and then we'll click install plugin and that should add it so now if I go to my installed list oh, clear out the search there we see that that's in the list now. And then hit close. Okay, so um, this got added here. So that's the their uh, list of tools. And then under rest analysis, we got zonal stats multi band. Okay, so we're, we should have installed and we should be able to use it. Uh, before we can actually move on, we need, need to actually have some zones. So I'm going to go into this uh, database here and create some zones. We'll call them prog um, zones and we'll do a polygon and yeah that should work and hit OK so that generates our new layer there alright so let's draw on ourselves some zones here okay so there we have our zones so now I'm going to save it and we should be ready to run the tool now so I'm going to go to Zenal Statistics Small to Band feed it a band, a raster, and then zones, which are already there, and a prefix, so we'll just prefix it with S2. And what statistics we want, so um, let's do the mean, the median, and the standard deviation. That should be good. And then we'll hit OK, and then we should be able to run that, and then hopefully get back our statistics. So I think you can see that it's cycling through the progression at multiple times. I think that's for each band. So this is four bands, so hopefully this should be the last one. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to hit close there. Now if we go into this um, object, so the original file, and it didn't create a new file, just added it in, we should have all those all that information. So there's our band one, band two, band three, band four. So there's all of your your measures that you uh, that you would uh, that you wanted. Okay, so that's how to do multi-band data. And this is I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is an example using an experimental plugin that we connected to via GitHub.